All right, for uh, part, part B of question two, the question is again broken into four parts. So the first one wants me to calculate the capacitive reactance as C. In other words, this one, right? Now in this question, we are told that the, the input voltage frequency is 50 hertz, right? So the capacitive reactance as C is then calculated by 1 upon omega C, which is 1 upon 2 pi Fc. That gives me 2 pi times 50 times 220 microfarad. That gives me 14.47. Um, Alright, so that's the answer for part 1. Now for part 2, we want to calculate the total impedance. Now the total impedance comprises of two parts. One is the impedance due to the cable plus the impedance of the load. So before we can calculate the total impedance, we need to calculate the impedance of the load, which happens to be comprising of two parallel components. Right, so we need to use the uh, impedance formula for parallel circuits to calculate the load impedance. So if we just focus on the load, we have 1 upon load is equal to 1 upon ZR, the impedance of the resistors plus the impedance of the capacitance. Right. Now this is a good choice for phasor but polar version so that we have one angle zero divided by r r in this case is um 10 angle zero so plus one angle zero degrees divided by now this time omega is like c but is with a 90 degree phase shift huh? so minus 90 degrees I'm sorry, uh, it should be 14.47, right? So this one should be 14.47 ohms. Okay. This can be a complex number division, so this gives me 0 0.1 at angle of 0 plus 1, point, uh, 1 upon 14.47, that gives me 0 0.069. 0 0.069 at an angle of 0 degree minus minus 90 so become positive. Convert this to polar uh, rectangular format since I'm going to uh, add them up. So this is from plus G 0 0.069. So both them can be added in this version. Convert back to uh, the polar version, right? So polar version will be 0 0.1215 with an angle of 34.6 degrees for ohm, but the inverse of ohm, eh? Siemens. Now this one upon ZL, therefore ZL must be equal to 1 upon this, eh? so 1 upon 0 0.1215 angle 34.6 degree. So this is the same as 0. So this gives me a um, final load of 8.23 at an angle of minus 34.6 degree. Oops. Right, so that is the total impedance. Right, but the question wants me to give the answer in the rectangular form. So I convert this back to rectangular form. That will be six point seven seven four minus J four point six. 7.3 Okay, so this is the answer for this
it is low right we need to find the total impedance so total impedance is the cable impedance plus plus eh? so we can write this total impedance zt is equals to zc uh, zc is a uh, is already given to us earlier 1.5 plus j0.8 1.5 plus j0.8 plus zl zl is 6.774 minus j4.673 Okay, that gives me that gives me um eight point two seven four minus J three point eight four three. Convert this to polar format that will be nine point one three at an angle of minus 24.9 degrees in ohms okay now the part 3 wants us to calculate the source current now source current basically is calculated from again using ohms law uh, v divided by zt so in this case it's 230 volt at an angle 0 degrees divided by the total impedance 9.123 angle of minus 24.9 degrees ohms that gives me um, 25.21 ampere divided by or angle angle of 24.9 degrees Now my last part for this one is I want to calculate the voltage across this two point means VL using the voltage divider rule. So this is equal to the to uh, the load impedance divided by the total impedance multiplied by the main voltage. Huh? So that's equal to VL, VL, now because this is a division and multiplication, so it's easier to do in the polar format. Minus 34.6 degrees divided by 9.123 at an angle of minus 24.9 degrees multiplied by 230 angle of 0. Divide and multiply. Right, so division multiply I will get 207.5 at the angle of minus 9.7 9.7 degrees that's the answer ok let's check whether it's correct there is some slight mistake there. Minus plus. Okay, so let's go. Okay, that's the answer for part B. Question 2, part B for February 2014.